friends, I figured this video kind of needs a little bit of an intro because this is not the typical type of video that I put up on my YouTube channel. And if you're not a follower of me, maybe on my other social medias, it might not quite make sense. So in case you don't know, um, I am a new mom. I recently had my first born about two months ago. And um, I share a lot about being a new mom on my Instagram and have had a ton of requests to share more about what it's like being a new mom and a day in the life being a mom. It was pretty difficult to film and be taking care of a newborn, but I tried to do my best to sort of share like the real, like hour to hour, what a day really looks like. If you wanna see even more about the sort of newborn stuff, about baby stuff, like I said, I share a lot of that on my Instagram and my Instagram stories. I share a lot more of my personal life over there. I don't share a lot of that on my YouTube channel, at least I haven't up until this point. But I wanted to give you a glimpse into a single day, so let's do it. Good morning. It is 7.30 and um, I just finished feeding Miles. He woke up at like 6.30 this morning and he doesn't always fall right back asleep, but he did. So I'm taking advantage of this little bit of time. I'm going to have a coffee, I'm letting the dogs out, and then I am going to get ready for the day because I don't always know when he's going to nap long enough that I can get ready. So I always try to take advantage of like this first sleep of the day. And Austin is barking, so let's get him. It snowed out. But before I do anything, I have to pump. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you've been following along with our entire breastfeeding journey. Basically where we are right now is I'm breastfeeding miles, but I'm also pumping after every single feed, which is exhausting. I didn't even think I was gonna pull out my breast pump until like I was going back to work. It's just really hard after you feed him to always find time to fit in pumping as well. But I'm gonna go pump and then I'm gonna get ready for the day. If you were wondering what that crunching was in the background, the dogs are eating breakfast. Austin eats very slowly. He likes to take one kibble out and then put it on the floor and then maybe eat it. And then usually when I come down later, there's like little kibbles strewn all over the floor. Oh, here's one. All right, I was able to put some makeup on my face. It's amazing what a little concealer would do. Um, hair, that's another story. I think it's gonna be a hat day. Miles woke up twice and I didn't think I was gonna have time to get ready, but luckily Michael got him back to sleep. So I need to wake him up in about 15 to 20 minutes to eat for the second feeding of the day. So I'm just taking a few minutes to get ready um, as far as like I'm cleaning up the nursery really quick and then I'm getting like my feeding area ready. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. So during the day, this is where I sit and feed Miles. So I have to just have everything ready. I have muslin, I have a burp cloth, then I need to have my pump because lots of times he falls asleep on me after I feed. And so I need to have my pump ready so that I can just like hold him and pump at the same time. I do have his rock and play hair in case he'll go to sleep in it, but he won't always. And then I always slip my laptop here with a charger because if he does fall asleep, then I can use it as a little bit of time to get some work done. And I don't wanna have to wake him up to get my laptop because that would be catastrophic. So I get everything ready that I might need for the next like two hours of my life. Also, I'm gonna put a water here because you're the minute you sit down to feed, you're always like so thirsty. Hi, who's waking up? Waking up, hello. Hi. Oh, those big stretches in the morning are the best. This is the happiest baby sleep pea swaddle. I'm gonna link some of my favorite baby products in the description. We love this swaddle, don't we? We just ordered the next size because you're too big for this one. Are you hanging out in your rock and play? What are you thinking about? Really important stuff? Astrophysics? Are you ready for a nap? Do you want mama to put you in a swaddle so you can take a little nap? Uh, Miles is asleep currently for how long we don't know um, but I'm just trying to get a tiny bit of work done while he naps and hopefully he'll nap until 11, which is in about 20 minutes. I can finish up this blog post that I'm working on and then I'm gonna feed him and we are going to head out on a little son mom date. We're gonna go to Target. Fingers crossed that he sleeps for 20 more minutes so I can finish up what I'm doing. But if you have a newborn, you'll find they always almost wake up like 10 minutes before you need them to. Like I can't tell you how many times he's waking up and I'm like, 10 more, 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. <sighs> Look who's waking up 10 minutes before I was done, just like I told you he would. Let's go get changed and then we'll eat. And then we'll go to Target. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go. 
And let's change out of your pajamas too. cranky in your car seat, aren't you, until we drive. And you need some shoes, because we lost your shoes, didn't we? All right, we made it into the car, and um, I'm hoping that Miles would just sleep, because he hasn't really slept these two past naps. He kind of like has woken up through most of them, or gotten up early, so he's a little overtired, which makes him a little cranky. Also, I started getting ready to leave the house 45 minutes ago, so that's how long it takes to leave the house with a newborn. <laughs> also, I want to try to show you guys some of the baby products that I've been using that I really like. This is the diaper bag we have. I got it on Amazon, super affordable, um, and I really, really like it. It's just got one pocket in the front for bottles. It's insulated, super easy from the top, lots of pockets that you need. There's like a little pocket in the back to get what you need. There's a little clip for your keys. It's kind of like thought about everything. So I'm gonna link this down below if you're looking for a really affordable, easy diaper bag. I like backpacks because they're easy. You can throw them over your shoulder and dad is not embarrassed to carry them. All right, quick stop at the gas station because I realized we're basically on E. Trying to get to Target, shop, and get home before I have to feed Miles again. Not that I can't feed him when we're out, it's just a lot easier to do it at home with the newborn. It's just like, it's just a lot easier to not have to do it out. We'll see if we can do it because now I'm on empty and I mean, this exit has a Duncan, so I'm gonna get a coffee and I'm gonna get a snack because I haven't eaten anything yet today, so. So while I'm filling up my car with gas and just checking the Target app, um, because lots of times there's good deals if you know ahead of time. I'm now kind of hooked on the Target app. So like 20% off all of women's clothing, but I don't need any clothes, so hopefully I don't get caught up looking at clothes. Um, but I'm just gonna see what else there is. Like home is some of the stuff that I need to get. And so you can sort of just check and see what things are on sale and then you sort of save your coupons and you use them all at checkout. Hi, can I have a medium um, vanilla latte with almond milk? And then can I get one of the like egg white flatbreads? Anything else? That's it. Gemma now. Thanks. We survived our trip to Target. Crammed everything in here plus miles, which was a lot. And it was madness in there because it's Christmas time. So I didn't film what was in there. And we're gonna be home just in time to feed you. I wanna show you another product. This is Binksy, which is a shopping cart hammock. Basically, it just clips onto shopping carts and you can put the baby directly inside of it or you can put your car seat in it, which is what I did with Miles. It saves all of the space in your cart so you still have all the room underneath the hammock so you're not like taking up your entire cart with the car seat. An awesome, awesome product. You guys, Target during Christmas time is insane, but I survived. It was really packed in there and I was just focused on getting in and getting out. But I just got a bunch of boring stuff. I'll show you some of it when I get home if I remember. Plan is to get home, feed Miles, and then have just enough time to take the dogs for a walk with Miles before the sun sets because the sun sets at like four o'clock. Also, I got some munchkins for Michael, but I feel like I deserve one for surviving targets. So, jelly munchkins, what do you guys think? Yay or nay? Someone is waiting for us when we get home. She's waiting for us. I wonder how long she'll sit there for. We're having a stare off. Oh, it's a good look for me. My hair is in a ponytail. And I have a hat on. Anyways, and I'm eating pizza. Really a super healthy eating day today. Come on, Austin. Come on. We are all going for a walk to get outside before the sun sets, which it will very soon. Anyways, in the world of babies, I really like having a baby carrier or being able to wear miles. When I walk the dog, since we have two dogs, it's pretty hard to do the stroller. And lots of times I'll take the stroller and just take Zoe because she's much more well-behaved than Austin, but even then it's still kind of hard. It's way easier to just wear miles and have my hands free. So this is the way I've been liking to go for walks. I think Miles likes it too. He loves to be worn. He just falls right asleep in there. You can't see him. He's got a little hat on. All right, hair gets consistently better throughout this video. Um, just got home from our walk. It was cold, but I'm glad we win. It was nice to be outside and get some fresh air. And I've got about a half an hour till Miles has to eat again. If you're catching um, a pattern, it's that my day is all around when Miles has to eat next. So I've got about a half an hour, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit, hopefully put some away, put away some of the stuff I got at Target, feed the dogs because Austin is begging to eat. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Is it dinner time? All right, as promised, here's some of the stuff that I got at Target, mostly boring stuff, but. Got a few fun things. I needed dish soap, that's not very exciting. 
They had a ton of really cute ornaments, and Michael and I don't have a lot of ornaments for our tree yet. So I got some extra ones. For a couple years, I've been collecting like little stuffed ornaments for our tree. So I just got some more to fill in the tree a little because it's a little sparse on the ornament front. I mean, I know that over the years we'll collect them as we go, but I wanted to get a few more just to kind of fill it in. Got a set of like body suits, I guess, or like footy onesies. I don't really know the proper word. Miles lives in these because it's winter and it's cold and it's just easier most of the time than having to put like pants and a shirt on, especially at night, he sleeps in them. And he had a set of these, it's like Cloud Island, I think is the company from Target. And he had a set of these in the newborn size, but they don't fit him anymore. So I got him a set of three. I like the zipper, it's just like so easy. Zip it on, zip it off, so simple. So got some of those. And then the rest of this is I got a new set of sheets and then a bunch of towels and pillowcases. Pretty, pretty boring, like I said. All right, this is what our living room looks like right now. So I'm gonna pick this up so it's nice and tidy for the evening. So we can just have a nice relaxing night at home, which is what we're doing. All right, it is like three hours later, like seven o'clock right now, and I've just been feeding Miles for the past three hours. He's sort of cluster feeding. He's very cranky right now. It's kind of his witching hour. And I just put him down. I don't think he's gonna sleep, but I'm gonna try to cook dinner really quick. We're gonna have tacos, but I don't think he's gonna be sleeping. No, he's not into it. This is a cranky little man. I know I didn't really show any crying today, but there's been, I don't want you to think that it's all, all sunshine and, and butterflies. Sometimes they're sad and they're cranky. He's cranky right now because he needs a nap and he's sort of fighting it. So I'm trying to get him to sleep. I've got him swaddled, but he always kind of fights it this time of night, so I might put him in his carrier if I need to to make him sleep. He was not interested in his nap, but that's okay. We're just getting some, he just wants some extra snuggles. Hmm? Just, you just want to be with mama and papa. You just want to be right with us. He's very awake right now, but I have a feeling he will be asleep in a few minutes. Got our fire in the fireplace. We're just having lazy Friday night at home. Someone is asleep, just like I said he would. He always falls asleep in this thing. He loves it. He fought it a little bit, but now it is time to wake him up and to give him his second to last feeding of the night. We're gonna feed him, maybe watch a movie with Michael, and then we are going to head upstairs for our nighttime routine, which is basically just getting Miles changed into pajamas, giving him his final feeding, which I do in bed, and then putting him down. And Miles, luckily, even though he's cranky at night sometimes, he sleeps pretty good at night. This is glamorous. That is glamorous. That's because you ate too much. Now you gotta lose your milk for your cookie. <laughs> Did you get a little too excited and eat too much and you spit up all over mama? Yeah. Just living our best life over here. Having an Oreo. Michael's having his munchkins. He told me not to give him the jelly ones. Which whenever you get assorted munchkins at Dunkin' Donuts, they're always like 75% jelly ones. Okay. He sneezed this morning, snots actually came out on me. All right, I realized I never actually finished that vlog because that's sort of where the night ended. Uh, Miles didn't want to take his final nap, so we kind of held him for the rest of the night and then ended up going upstairs, giving him his final feeding in the night and putting him to bed. But. I hope that gives you a glimpse into the life, a little bit of what a day with a newborn is. Um, newborns are always changing and every day is a little different, every week is a little bit different. As Miles sort of grows and becomes different, like literally every single day, some days are better, some days are worse, some hours are easier, some hours are harder. But I tried to give you the most sort of like honest, real look at what it is like. Like I said at the beginning, if you wanna see more, Instagram and Instagram stories is the place to do it. That's where I share a lot more of life with Miles and and, um, you know, can interact with you guys a lot more through DMs. But I hope that you enjoyed this little glimpse into our life. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.